Hello, crafty friends. My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And welcome, or perhaps welcome back, to my channel. Happy Sheetload of Cards Day. It is always one of my favorite times around here, and I think it might be one of yours. If you're new to my channel, the first of every month is when I debut my latest free printable called Sheetload of Cards. In this free two-page PDF, I give you a new sketch, supply list, and cutting guides to make the most of your products and yield a sheet load of cards. This is usually anywhere between 6 and 12, depending on the sketch and the size of the paper. In today's video, I'll be sharing a look at the new printable, showing you the main products I used, and my first set. Then, at the end of this video, I will tell you how you can download the printable for free if you're subscribed to my channel. Now, tomorrow, I'm going to be back to show you the process and give you some tips, and my team of collaborators will be sharing their creations as well. I do have each of the team members' links in the description box below, so I hope that you'll go give them a follow if you don't already. Speaking of collaboration team members, each month in 2024, we are going to be welcoming a guest artist to our team. For May 2024, our guest artist is Tracy with Not Afraid of Color. Let's go ahead and learn a little more about her. I first met this month's guest artist when I was a guest on another crafty challenge show that she was a part of. I've been following her ever since then, here on YouTube and over in her Facebook group. I just love her personality and her style, which let me tell you, it is very varied. In fact, I used to think she only kind of created her own backgrounds, does a lot of mixed media, but when I saw her use pattern paper on cards, I'm like, I've got to snag her up. So I'm so glad that Tracy of the Not Afraid of Color YouTube channel is joining us as this month's special guest. Her social media links are shown above, and I will have clickable links down in that description box below. Let's go ahead and have a little Q&A with Tracy. Don't forget to stop by Tracy's channel and subscribe if you don't already. Let's go ahead and take a look at the May 2024 sheet load of cards. The May 2024 printable is going to show you how to make eight A2 cards using just two pieces of 12 by 12 pattern paper and some coordinating cardstock. This month's sketch is kind of a take on the fractured cards, I think they're called, where there's like a shape in the middle and then you do some little strips radiating from it. Well, most I've seen are kind of diamonds, which who knows, in the future I might do one of those too, but I wanted to do a little bit of a different take on it. So we're gonna be doing a rectangle that has the strips radiating around it. Now I do have some special instructions here on how you'll want to put this together so your card comes out correctly or you can wait until tomorrow's process video where I'll give you lots of tips and tricks. As always, I know sometimes you like the sketch, but maybe you don't need a sheet load or maybe you want to use six by six paper. So you just need the dimensions. So I do provide the dimensions of each piece right here on page one of the printable. Also, I give you some ideas of how to switch it up and make it your own. And I want to point out this little section here a special for channel members this month. Make sure to watch tomorrow's video to find out the special cutting and print file that I made for you to help you get your little center pattern paper all squared up on your card. Now, if you're not yet a channel member and you want to find out more about it, you can click on the join button below this video or check out the link in the description box below. I have memberships starting as low as $1.99 a month, and with that you get access to the Sheetload Visual Archive, which is probably the favorite perk. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out or leave them in the comment section below. 
Speaking of channel members, I wanted to take a minute and recognize a few of them. In the month of April, the following members earned their two-year membership badge. Congratulations to Lisa Meech Barton, Ann Ricks, Marcina McCutcheon, Created to Bless, Rosie Jalifi, Tina L, and June Leyendecker. Thank you so much for your continued support. Thank you as well to these next channel members who are my first to celebrate three years of membership. An extra special thank you goes out to Jessica Yarbrough, Sasha Bell 728, Kathy Weber, Sherry Young, Lucy Schmidt, John Yell Smith, Susan Smurf Murphy, Laura Edmondson, Rondita 95, Bertha Cunningham, Leslie Herman, Crafty Days, Debbie Skluzak, and Jennifer Dahlgren. Your continued support is appreciated more than you'll ever know. Thank you so much. On page two are the cutting guides, and here I show you how to cut each of your pattern papers and the cardstock strips. Before I share the main products I use this month, I do want to remind you about showing us your sheet load. This is when you showcase the cards you've made with the latest printable. If you share here on YouTube or over on Instagram or TikTok, I do have some hashtags at the top that I would love for you to use. I do also have a Facebook group with albums for each month, and you can find that link down toward the bottom of the description box. The last way is to send in a card for the end of the month video. All of the details on all of these ways are in the Show Us Your Sheet Load Updated Guidelines video, which is down in that description box. I hope you'll check it out. Let's go ahead and take a look at my main products. As I was perusing my pattern paper stash, I ran into the Rainbow Poppies by Paper Rose. These are 12 by 12 sheets that are just full of color. So I got that out to see what sheets could go together. I ended up choosing the Rainbow Flower Fields and this yellow that kind of match. There's some kind of drippy elements at the top and then there's a light wood grain in the background. The reason I chose this piece is all of the flowers have yellow in the center. So even if I cut like a section down here, it will still have the yellow to match with the other pattern paper. All of the pattern papers in this package are gorgeous and full of color, but they wouldn't all work for today's sketch. For instance, originally I was gonna use this purple wood grain, but then I thought, well, wait, if my background is up here, there's really no purple to tie this in. So that's why I end up going with the yellow because there was yellow throughout. For my matting, I'm gonna be using Gina K Design's Prickly Pear cardstock. I thought this matched the flower centers pretty well and it went with the yellow pattern paper. And for a big, bold sentiment, I will be using this Hello Dye, which unfortunately, I don't know where it came from. It was just on my dye wall. So if you know, let us know in the comment section below so I can link it up for other people. Let's go ahead and take a look at my first set of cards using the May 2024 sheet load of cards printable.
I hope you enjoyed getting a look at my first set of cards using the May 2024 sheet load of cards printable. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now let me tell you how you can download the free printable. If you would like to make your own sheet load of cards, as always, I do ask that you're subscribed to my channel before you click on the download link, which I'll tell you where that's at here in just a minute. Subscribing is free, quick, and easy. Just click on that button right below this video. You're going to find the link to the new printable down in the description box right below my P.O. Box address. Below the link, it will say to watch the video for a password, but you watching this far is your password. I'm super excited to come back tomorrow with the process video and to see what my team of collaborators created. Until then, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.